I'm so happy. I'm so happy you come to visit me today. Oh, I've been lonely, Nusimak. You know, with this coronavirus, my Nusimak haven't been able to come and visit me very much. Just on my cellulite phone me and we to FaceTime every almost every day. Oh, but I'm happy you are here. As dumb bitik we come on in. Oh, Tapwe Kai as long time ago since I saw did you guys. Oh, oh no Samak. So to, I'm so happy you're coming to right now. You know, January, February, that's usually storytelling month. We can tell stories and legends and all kinds of things like that. Even, I can even tell you stories of Waisaki Tak. Have you heard of Waisaki Tak? Oh, you know what? We can talk about him just police be anytime you know that. We have to wait till Mother Earth is covered with snow. Because Wisaki Tak is a trickster. I don't know if you know that. He likes to play tricks on people. He'll do things to you. Oh, sometimes we learn things from him, but you know. So that's why we always need to wait till the Mother Earth is covered with snow. We Saki Tsak spirit is under there, then we can talk about him. He won't come and tickle me while I'm trying to sleep or something like that. Anyways, no Samak. Kaya, it's a long time ago. Dimanegi, we get left law. I'm going to tell you where I grew it up. Utisak tawa ala cross, they call it. Not in town, Nusamak. Right there, there's this, we call it Big Island. Not Hawaii, this is just called Big Island. You go ti uta, must be right behind Big Island. There's another little island, ala point to Trump, they go on Masikatio. It was being if you keep going further, then you're going to hit the Beaver River and all those other rivers. That's where Kutiu Manegi Piyupigi and that's where Kuku Madnistin grew up. Alla Puento Tram behind Big Island. Oh, Gimi Wiginan, we lived such a good, simple life, Nusamak. We didn't have electricity. We didn't have no running water. Oh, we didn't have cellulites and those those boxes all these young people are playing with right now an xbox we didn't have any of those when i was growing up no samak in the winter time we go down sliding down a hill and oh we once in a while we'd hit a tree oh it used to be so much Fun Nusimak when I was young. Christmas time, I'll tell you that one time. All day, Suskatsuya, all day we were sliding, me and my cousins, down the hill, up the hill, down the hill. My socks were just soaking wet, Nusimak. Just wet. We got inside the house, Umego, it's the tip shkak. When it got dark, we got went inside the house. My mom, she tells me, take off your socks, Danis, take it off your socks. Hang it right there, little clue. There's a nail hanging there. Oh, because pain pie, when you go to bed, send a claws to pick up, send a potato, a leek, and this is the sag here. You send a cross, will come and she'll see your little stocking hanging there and she'll fill it up with candies. Oh, Nusamak, I was so excited because we didn't get to eat much candies a long time ago. I hung it up my sock on that nail. It was just soaking wet. Oh, and then we were told to go to bed because Santa Claus needed to come to the house. 
The next morning I woke up, no sim. I went running to look in that seclude with the mobile bone to now. I went to look it for my sock on that nail. <gasps> there it was, just plum full. Oh, I was so excited. You know, I pulled it off the nail and I started. There was a tijarashi with the gap. It was paganak, some orange and some peanuts. Right at the bottom of my sock, no some was, you know, those candies, those hard candies. Oh, and they were stuck because my sock was wet. That candy was just stuck in my sock. All day long, you can see me socking my sock. Oh my God, wicked so it was so good, no Samak. Maybe it was a little bit of dirt too from my, my toe. Maybe it had a little bit too jam in there. Oh, it cussing. All day, two days, I sucked on my little sock because it had that little candy. Oh, okay, wicked so. Oh, Kayas, we had such a simple life, but it was such a good life, Nusamak. And then that time, so that was when I, I was a tiny little girl, and then I was starting to get older. My mommy, she used to tell me stories of this Wisakitsak. Do you know about Wisakitsak? I'll tell you, if you even if you don't know about him after this visit, you'll know about Wisaki Tuck. Anyways, oh Wisaki Tuck like to play tricks on people and things and and you know what? Just like he can do magic, he can turn himself into an animal, a rock, a tree. Poo he can be anything he wanted to be. Oh, anyways, there was Wisaki Chuck. He was a man this time when I'm telling the story. Oh, we pop moved it. He was walking and getting very hungry. We pop moved it. Oh, at nuhti katil. All of a sudden, you can hear just like thunder in the summertime. It was his stomach, his guts were making that noise. Wow, wow, we saki tuck said. Wow, my stomach's starting to talk it to me. Oh, I better find some food. Oh, Tanti Tigwe. You know, it wasn't like a long time ago. You don't pick it up your cellulite and you don't phone for some food and it comes to your doorstep. It wasn't like that at all, Nusamak. You had to go out and find your own food. So we Saki Tsak was thinking, oh, where is my next meal going to come from? All of a sudden, Nusamak, just like the birds can hear, right on top his head he can hear. Quack, quack, quack. Whoa, whoa, we Saki Tsak was so excited. He, oh, there's my lunch flying in the sky. Oh, but how am I going to get them down and into my stomach? He was wondering, how is he going to do that? Boy, Mantunitam, she was sat there thinking for a long time, what am I going to do? <gasps> then he remembered. Kagisk said, the ducks and the birds, they like to have their meetings. If you ever notice on the side of the road, you don't usually only see one or two birds. There's a whole bunch of them. They like to have meetings. Oh, and so uh, Wisaki Tsak was thinking, how can I get them to where they're having a meeting? When, yes, Mantunitam, she was thinking really hard. All of a sudden, Nusama, she tied it up a little bag. She took a rock and branches, mush cake, anything he can find, he tied it up. So there was Wisaki Tsak walking and he tied it onto a long stick of pole. And he's walking and walking. All of a sudden, 
He knew that the birds were really snoopy and curious. Tap did all of a sudden you can hear the birds saying, We suck it up! What you got in a bag? And he's walking. <whistles> Just pretending he didn't hear the birds. And he's walking. Kawe gama dwiti pwit again the birds yell. We suck it up! What you got in the bag? Kigwe a swat diki one man suck at the full of men. We suck it up, stop. Oh, yeah, I'm here and you're talking to me. Well, I can just show you what's in the bag. Wow, wow. You know better than that. This is a medicine bundle. Wow, wow. I can just open it. We have to go into ceremony. You know that, he told the duck. Oh, so the duck said, Hmm, the ducks now all kakyoka mama wato, they all gathered and they thought, hmm, is this true what this Wisaki Chak is doing, telling us? And the ducks were so snoopy, they needed to find what was in that bag, wanted to see what was in that bag. So they had a meeting and they decided, you know what, let's do this, let's find out what's in that bag. And there was chickadees and all kinds of different birds they all got together and they said they were going to they were going to keep their eyes away to pay attention to what we saki chak was doing they weren't going to let we saki chak play a trick on them this time so they all agreed they all decided okay well, we're gonna do this so we saki chak said okay we got to build a big fire we got to go inside this just like a sweat lodge where it's nice and dark. We'll sing, we'll dance, and then I'll open up the bag. It's a song bag. It's a special song in there. But we need to have all this. Quack yoga. So they built this big fire. They all walked inside, all the birds. Then we sack it, sack we start. Boy, they didn't trust him. You know, that chickadee said, oh... Chicka chick chick chick, I don't I don't trust that and we sat it's like chick 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 I don't me too chick 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 well you know what let's keep our eyes open and really pay attention to what he's doing. So all of a sudden everybody sitting in a circle around the fire, we sakitak said to them, Okay, now we're gonna start our ceremony. You need to close your eyes. Put a blindfold on. Oh, the birds were mad. They didn't trust him. So the little chickadee put his little bird, his little um, rotator cupid suit, but it was really loose because he wanted to peek. He let one eye out. Boy, all of a sudden, dance around the fire. Wisaki Tsak said. They started to dance. Oh, all of a sudden. Oh, Wisaki Tsak was thinking. Saw a big, juicy, fat duck, and he thought, oh, that's the one I'm going to have for lunch. He threw him into the fire. Oh, everybody, everybody, the chickadees yelled, oh, we suck it, suck us up to no good. Open your eyes, open your eyes. He threw our brother in the fire. They opened their eyes. Oh, they were mad that we suck it, suck. The, all the big, you know how big the goose's feathers are? Oh, they were so mad. They went like this with their wings and they threw them in the fire. And they all left out of that lodge. Oh, they were pissed it off. We suck it, suck had fallen into the fire and his bum had burned. It was on fire. Oh, he went running outside, was looking to see where to put it out. He saw a nice rock, he sat on it and went, oh, it felt so good. The rock was nice and cold. Oh, it was felt, oh, he was sitting there with a way up picking west. He saw all of a sudden his stomach started to grumble. He was hungry and his bum was sore from burning it on the fire. Oh, I got to go find lunch kite with possible. He got up from the rock. He's looking around thinking, where am I going to find my lunch? 
and the sun was shining down onto that rock and he could see something and it looked like dry meat. No sima. Wah, wah. Where did this dry meat come from? Oh, oh, he started to eat it. Mmm, nice and salty too. Mmm, oh, oh my God, we suck, he suck. was so happy he had found some dry meat on that rock. All of a sudden, we suck, he suck, and hear the birds singing and laughing. And he looked and he said, what are you laughing at? All of a sudden, he could hear the chickadee. We suck, he suck, me me too, me me too, me me too. What do you mean I'm eating my scab? Oh my God. The chickadee told we sucky chuck he was eating his scab. We sucky chuck for me to me too. Oh, we sucky chuck was so pissed it off he grabbed it and threw it at him. He missed the birds and he hit this tree that was standing there, the poplar tree. You know, when you walk in the bushes, you'll see that big black opening. It looks like a scab, Musimak. That's Wisaki Tuck scab. To this day, you can see that on the trees, Nusimak. Wisaki Tuck scab. And do you know what else? In the springtime or whenever you see those chickadees, you can hear them. They're still laughing at Wisaki Tuck to this day. Listen next time you're outside. You'll hear them, they'll say, We suck it, suck, me me too, me me too. They're still laughing at We suck it, suck for eating his scab. Oh, that was a nice little cute love story, a little story, no, Samak. Kukum got all excited. I started jumping around here. I better shut it off for now. No, Samak, thank you. Merci for coming to visit me and come back again soon. Kukum loves you. Wash your hands and keep your masks is on.